Hello, my name is Sam and this is another Aviso 9.0 tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will cover how to use a range calibration editor. This editor allows you to break up your TIFF stack or, by, or grayscale image into multiple different parts automatically or manually. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click open data and we're going to go to 9.0 data tutorials and then motor.am. Now we're just going to click OK. So then we're going to click on motor.am and then we're going to click on this button. So this is the range calibration editor. So if we click yes, we can choose the number of ranges. So I'm going to first start with 10 ranges. As you can see, it detects 10 different ranges. Ranges 1 through 7 and exterior. detects eight ranges. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to show you what the auto function does. So this detects how many different materials there are. It doesn't keep in mind that this does not always work so you want to check its work but it sometimes does. So what we're going to do is we're going to click auto refresh and we're going to click on range one. So this takes it out. So ranges three and four are those two. So if I take out range 3, it just removes a tiny bit, but if I take out range 4, I don't really think those need to be separate ranges, right? So I'm just going to take it down to 3 ranges, or 4, yeah, 4 ranges. So let's detect 4 different ranges. So let's see what each of these does. I don't like how many, I don't like how many of these ranges there are. I think we're going to need to break them up better. So, so we have this range, which is good. I like it. Range 1 is fine. Range 2, uh, I think we need to combine ranges 2 and 3. So I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out and just go down to 3, detect. I can then move this to 181, the last, what it was, and now we just have range 2, which looks really pretty good. We can move it around right here, and if we use auto, it will automatically update it. So that's a tiny bit too much, so we just want it right there. We can also show how these ranges are distributed, like what's in exterior, what's in uh, range 1, and what's in range 2. If we want to rename these ranges, we can use this exterior. So let's say I don't want it to be called exterior. I want it to be called nothingness. I just write it right there with a space after it. If I don't want range one to be called range one, let's say I want it to be called let's say material one as long as there's no space there needs to be a space between each name and there's can't be any spaces within the name so it can be material one like that so what now you guys might be wondering what we can we use this for so we can use it with the volume rendering to automatically zoom in on one of these we can adjust the range to like nothingness so it's just the outside area we can also adjust it to material one or material or range two. Other things we can do, if we're using interactive thresholding, we can automatically zoom in using material one or material two ooh, or range two and just select those really quickly. If we're using, yeah. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll be back soon with another Aviso 9.0 tutorial.